first thing you want to do is dissect the whole chicken and prepare it for marinade. We'll need a few cloves of garlic, some yogurt, preferably Greek yogurt, and some curry powder, which you see it's in that little container there. This curry powder I've made myself consists generally of cumin, coriander, turmeric, cardamom, cayenne pepper, and some other stuff. You can find many curry recipes online. You'll also need a cutting board, a knife, two hands, ten fingers, and two eyeballs. If you only have one eye, people, that's okay. You can also ask your butcher to do this for you. Basically, all we want are the delicious cuts of chicken not want any skin or bone. Okay, all done with that and I have a big pile of chicken parts and what are we gonna do with that? Of course we're gonna make some chicken stock. Uh, now to assemble the marinade as you can see I've started up on that already. Add in a little bit of yogurt. Try to avoid the water. Now the crushed garlic about four cloves. You can leave that out but it does make a difference in my opinion. Now adding the curry powder. If you don't have curry powder but have turmeric, cumin, coriander, that's going to do. Here I'm drizzling in some olive oil. This is a must. If you don't have olive oil, just use about any vegetable oil that you have laying around. And of course, good old salt. You don't have to overdo it if you're afraid of over seasoning. You can always add it later. Now stir it to death. Check consistency and add more components if necessary. I give it a thumbs up. So it's time to store it away in the refrigerator. Preferably for 24 hours, but you can get away with one to three hours. Here we go, on to the white sauce. Start off by grating that cucumber. Depending on the amount, you may want to use a second cucumber. Now after grated, you want to squeeze out that liquid. I do this by hand, and I don't mind if there's a little bit left over. Uh, that liquid you see in the bowl, you want to just pour that out in the sink. On to the yogurt here. You don't want this to have water either. As you can see there, I poured out the excess water in the sink. I recommend using Greek yogurt actually since I believe it has less water. It's a little bit thicker and is ideal for this recipe. You can also strain the yogurt by leaving it overnight in a cheesecloth. Now we are going to add a little bit of mayonnaise. You don't want to overdo it here. I think there was about 7 teaspoons of yogurt. I'm only adding 2 teaspoons of mayo here. Obviously, it's not exact, but it's about one third mayo versus the yogurt. Next, on to the garlic. You want this crushed or processed more if possible. Obviously, if you're scared of garlic for the night or whatever for the day, uh, going on a date or something, you might want to avoid excessive amounts of garlic that I've just added into the sauce. Now I'm adding the dill. It's, uh, it's just a basic dill. If you have fresh dill, you can use fresh dill. Here I just added some vinegar. You don't want to overdo that either. Just add in a little bit. And I added a very little bit of olive oil at the end there. Uh, now you want to taste, see if it's good. If it's good, you give it a thumbs up. If not, then add in uh, whatever you think it needs. There, I gave it. And I forgot up. to mention, you should store the white sauce in the fridge for at least one hour before serving. Here I'm making my version of the halal cart rice. We'll need chicken stock, which I've prepared yesterday with chicken parts. We'll also need curry powder, rice, obviously. I'm not using the recommended rice, but I believe they they are using basmati rice on the carts. I've tried this recipe with jasmine rice as well, and it's pretty unbelievable. And you'll also need olive oil. And here I'm toasting the rice. It's not completely necessary. Just toasting it uh, for a couple of, maybe a minute, about a minute. Here I'm adding the curry powder. Be generous. Add a nice layer. And I'm not adding any salt. You notice I'm not adding salt. That's because 
the chicken stock that I made, I I did salt the the chicken stock, so it's very flavorful. Here I'm adding the chicken stock. This particular rice is a two to one, so two cups of two cups of liquid, one cup of rice. Now cover 20 minutes. That's how you make rice. While the rice is cooking, gives us plenty of time to cook up that delicious chicken that has been marinating. Mine has been marinating over 24 hours. And here I just showed you a utensil. If you have a non-stick pan, don't use that metal one, use a wood one. And as you can see, I just put one in and it's not watery at all. This is also the sound that you would want to hear when it's when it hits the pan, you want to hear the sizzle. Now if yours came out watery, you're going to want to drain off the water to prevent it from steaming, which is extremely undesirable. Now when it has gotten to this point where it's kind of been browned on the bottom, you want to kind of flip it over, try to get all of them flipped, stir it up a little bit. And you also want to just kind of like, um, I don't know what the right term is, but kind of stab at them and just break them up into smaller pieces and you also want to lower the flame to medium after it's been browned. You want to start at a high heat, the highest heat possible. After it's been browned, you want to turn the heat down so it's halfway. Alright, so we're basically at the point where the chicken is done, rice is actually done here. That's what the rice should look like, basically, and that's what our chicken should look like. That's perfectly cooked. Alright, so now that the chicken and rice is completed, we want to chop up a little bit of lettuce, preferably iceberg lettuce. Here I'm using romaine. And top it with a little bit of salad. Alright, so here's our finished product. We have a lettuce, chicken rice, white sauce, and a little plate. And I knew you were wondering, where's that red sauce? You know that? You know, you don't need that red sauce. You don't need a red sauce. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, so... I cheat a little bit. I do have um, a red sauce recipe which I haven't really tried out yet, but instead of red sauce, I am using sriracha sauce. The red rooster that I love. I love that stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the recipe. Uh, should be delicious. If the recipe came out good, as good as mine, you will be running to the bathroom 30 minutes after eating, that means it's just as good as the halal carts. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You should not be running to the bathroom after eating this, or you probably undercooked the chicken or something. Anyway, take care, y'all. Uh, leave some nice comments, subscribe and stuff, and I'll see y'all on the next video.